this patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 31. As you can see, decay into the pulp, periapical lucency here. And patient also had a sinus tract. Let me show you the sinus tract. So here's the tooth and here is the sinus tract right here. Right there, that's the sinus tract. That's the tooth, that's the sinus tract right there. And here's the post-op one angulation. So went ahead, removed the decay, rebuilt that distal wall with composite. This is one angulation. Mesiobuccal was 18, mesiolingual was 20, and distal was also 20. So take a look here. Look at the this beautiful anatomy in the apical area of the distal canal. All right, so let me show you a different angulation. Look at this angulation now. That's the mesiobuccal. Mesiobuccal is, look at that, one, two, three, four. Four portals of exit, and there's also a lateral right there. You see that, that little lateral canal right there? Right here. Right there. One right here, but one, that's one right there. That's two, that's three, that's four portals of exit right there. Oh, there's another lateral right here too. This is three-dimensional instrumentation irrigation obturation. I don't use any NITI files. This is all hand files, 6% sodium hypochlorite and sonic activation. This is another angulation. Again, you can see one, two, three, four, right there. And again, in this angulation, you can see the complex root canal anatomy of the distal canal. How complex this is right there. So yeah, everything went great. We went ahead and temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to his dentist for the permanent restoration.